Um, I wanted to welcome everybody. Thanks so much for coming. Uh, this is a great turnout in uh, midweek and uh, work day for a lot of y'all. So thanks so much for coming. I'm, I'm glad uh, that the uh, town of Rocky Mount is as excited as all of us at Coca-Cola are about uh, the re, uh, restoration of this great building um, and these, these beautiful signs. I want to uh, first of all thank Jack Fralin, who is the painter. Um, and did this great artwork. He's right here in the front. <laughs> uh, and I want to uh, also thank uh, Gary Jackson with the Harvester uh, Performance Center. He's going to open us up and uh, uh, let us enjoy lunch in his wonderful facility. And I hope you'll all come back and enjoy some performances there uh, when, when he's ready for you to, um, to come. Uh, I also want to introduce Gail Bartz with Congressman Robert Hurt's office. Appreciate you coming. Thank you very much. Um, we also have some um, royalty here today. We have uh, teen Miss Franklin County, uh, Jelena, and we have preteen Miss Franklin County, Emily, and petite Miss Franklin County, um, Shay. So uh, if you want an autograph from some royalty, they're here in the, in the audience today. Um, we also have Delegate Poindexter from um, the 9th District in the Virginia House of Delegates. Uh, thank you so much, Delegate, for coming out and, and joining us today. And um, I also want to uh, introduce uh, Brian Hochstein, ho um, oh, I'm so sorry, <laughs> Hochstein, who is uh, going to have a wonderful restaurant here. Uh, called Bootlegger's Cafe. Uh, in about three weeks, he's going to welcome you in for uh, uh, a meal. And he's also um, look forward to another um, uh, project that Brian's got going on the uh, corner across the street. He's going to uh, have a bed and breakfast over there. So uh, I know he will be uh, looking forward to having you as his guest at Bootlegger's Cafe. And he's also going to give you a little preview today in the form of lunch across the street. Um, so uh, with those introductions, I'm going to um, introduce one last person, um, Lauren Steele, who's uh, Senior Vice President of Corporate Affairs for Coca-Cola Bot Bottling Company Consolidated. That's uh, the company who I work for, and uh, we're, we're just loving this, these sign projects. So I'm going to introduce Lauren to run us through the rest of the program. Lauren. Thank you, thank you Allison. Good morning, and thank you again for being here. It, it, this is such a great event for all of us at Coca-Cola because this is part of our history. And what makes it really special, it is part of Rocky Mount's history as well. Uh, this building, built in the 1920s, operated until the 1950s. Uh, I have not seen the uh, display at the museum yet, but will later today. It, long before there was television and, and the internet, uh, Coca-Cola introduced its brand new beverage uh, invented in 1886 with wall murals throughout the country, thousands and thousands of beautiful wall murals talking about the extolling the virtues of refreshing and invigorating Coca-Cola, uh, introducing this new product. Uh, long before the, the world famous Times Square Coca-Cola sign uh, spectacular, there were buildings like this one with Coca-Cola wall murals. Sadly, in, in many of these were in, little, in small towns, and they have faded. They have become ghost signs. In fact, there's a movement now out to restore ghost signs. And Coca-Cola Consolidated has joined part of that movement, and we have been restoring these signs in communities throughout the southeast. And it is a real honor for us to be a part of Rocky Mount. And if we could ask the mayor of Rocky Mount, Mayor Angle, if you could come up and say a few words. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. On behalf of the town of Rocky Mount, we welcome you all to here. And again, we say what a wonderful day for Rocky Mount in Franklin County as uh, the economic engine continues to turn for our community. You know, those of you that grew up here, and I remember as a very young boy this building itself, and coming by here with my dad, and if you came by at the right time, you could get a bottle of Coke. So that was always a big, uh, a big thrill. You know, Brian has done a lot of work, invested a lot of money in Rocky Mount, not only with the Bootlegger Cafe, but with the bed and breakfast that's scheduled to open, and a lot of other things very exciting are going on in Rocky Mount. We hope that you will continue to support these places, uh, continue to come out and 
make Rocky Mount your destination instead of going somewhere else because certainly there are many things to do in Rocky Mount. Right across the street is one of the newest, the Harvester Performance Center. It's drawing a lot of people and because of that so many other things have happened. So again, on behalf of the town, welcome, good morning, and I hope you have a great day. Please take advantage of everything that's available for you today and come out and support the Bootlegger Cafe when it opens. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. And we're also honored to have with us a member of the uh, Virginia Legislature, Delegate Poindester, to be here. Delegate, will you come up and say a few words? Sir. Thank you, Lauren and Allison. And thanks and consolidated so much for being here today. And I'm glad to see so many Franklin County and Rocky Mount people here today. Special day. Um, you know, I think of back to the old Coke bottles and having to wash them and turn them in for a deposit. Those days are gone, thank goodness. But uh, thinking back too, we had Coke and RC and what was the other one? <laughs> Lost to history. No, it's not. Dr. Pepper. <laughs> okay. And remember, I told some of them next door here, we need to, somebody needs to have some little packs of peanuts. Remember what we used to do is pour peanuts in the Coke colas? Okay. Those are great days. And uh, I remember, too, wasn't much to do in Rocky Mount. Steve's trying to change that law, town council, and the county, and that's happening. We used to, the only thing we had to do in the county uh, was sort of drive round and round, and you know you can do that. It's in the shape of a circle, and when you get tired of going one way, you turn and you come around and go the other way. Well, guess what we use as a landmark? This building. We met somebody uptown and said, well, so, where's so-and-so? We'll live down, you know, next to the Coke. Everything was related to the Coke building. But I want to make a few comments uh, about Consolidated. We all think of Coca-Cola bottling company being one big thing, but it's really not. That's the parent company. Consolidated operates out of North Carolina in about 11 states. They're well known with local governments, well known to me in Richmond with what they do. Uh, Consolidated has the reputation of being a great and a good corporate citizen. They have a very long history of environmental uh, uh, issues that they have addressed, things like water usage and energy usage. As far as stewardship in the community, they've done a lot in our communities around Virginia. They actually have an uh, activity called Coke Cares, Coke Cares, and they encourage their employees throughout Virginia and the other 10 states to volunteer in their local community to help others. They give them time off and, and just all sort of things too, so that these employees can share their skills and their time and their efforts in the communities. Another thing they do is contribute in many different forms, both goods and, and finances, to various nonprofits and ministries in these communities. So we have with us today a great corporate citizen. They've also done a lot of recycling projects and things like providing recycling containers. And yes, for those of us indulging too many Cokes, uh, they have a healthy lifestyles program. So that's the kind of company that we're talking about when we're dealing here with Consolidated. I only have uh, one thing I'd ask of them. I understand that they use about six railroad cars of Coke syrup per day in bottling Cokes for us. Now, I just ask you, Lauren and Allison and others, if you're going to take those train cars through Lynchburg, please make sure the tracks have been fixed first, because I don't want to be down there cleaning that much syrup by the James River. <laughs> we don't either. <laughs> and I'm sure you don't either. <laughs> it takes it all, not just large business, larger business, but small business. And Brian, here today, you're trying to improve our company. And as I think about small business, it's about 70% of our economy in the state of Virginia and, the nation, and across the United States. 70% of all employment from small business. Now, what does small business do in a community? They don't just provide a service or a product. Yes, they have to make a, product, a profit, and that's okay. Profit's not a dirty word, okay? But they provide employment for people that is here and for our local community. And they support the community in all the different things we do. And if you don't know how many events and organizations in Franklin County, I can't tell you either, but I try to go to them all and I try to learn them all, but I'm sure there's some I don't know. But they also provide taxes for our schools and other services that we provide in the county and the town of Rocky Mount. So small government is really key. And Brian, today, I hate to say some of this, you're going to think I'm being pessimistic, but I'm not. <clears throat> I do sit on the House Appropriations Committee for you in Richmond. I help write the state budget. We're going to have to reduce spending about $1.6 billion due to the general economy. 
And the other thing is that small business startups, I hate to tell you, are at a 30-year low in the United States right now. That's the bad news, but it can be overcome. And people like Brian will overcome that. There's a challenge in times for sure. But to succeed in small business today, you have to have a great idea, a great service, and a great product. That's very timely in your environment here. <clears throat> and secondly, you have to have a great name. Now, my mother used to refer to this area down here as the bootleggers hangout. You came close, you get a home run for naming the bill, for your name in your business. Okay. You have to have a great, uh, good, good business model, obviously financing and a commitment. I believe you have all of those things from everything I've seen in your business background. You will. The one final element is a desire, or two really, involvement of the community, and a desire by you to step forward and succeed. And that's a lot of hard work, and we know how hard that's going to be. So we need to give Brian a, a shot in the arm and visit here, and the harvester and our other facilities here that Rocky Mount and the county are supporting so strongly, especially under the local town government. I thank you for being here, and I thank Consolidated for being here. And Brian, I wish you the best of luck. And now we get to hear from Brian, and I can't wait to try some of the Bootlegger Cafe food, which is going to be right across the street, and we'll get everybody out of the sun. Now, those of us in the Coca-Cola business, we like this hot weather, see? Because when you're thirsty, then, you know, we can take care of that with a good, cold, delicious, good for you Coca-Cola product, and we got lots of them here, so don't stay thirsty. Brian, please come forward. Wow. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous, so please bear with me. I do have a, a written speech, but at the same, uh, I just have to tell you, I'm, I'm blown away. Uh, this is a wonderful welcoming, and it just kind of goes with, uh, with kind of the speech here. Uh, again, my name is Brian Hoekson. I'm the proud owner of Bootleggers Cafe, or what will soon be Bootleggers. Uh, I'm here with my wife, Laura, some of my kids, well, all my kids. <laughs> That's how nervous I am. I have friends in town. Uh, this is just really wonderful. But I really want to say thank you to Rocky Mount. Uh, this is just so incredible. Uh, the town is new to me. Many of the people are new to me. And uh, I just want to, I want to say thank you for being so welcoming. It's just really, really nice. Uh, I get a comfortable feeling when I'm here. And, and you really all are just so nice. I just, I'm very grateful for that. <clears throat> I also want to thank you for the harvester. I mean, wow, the place is incredible. Uh, thank you to Gary Jackson. Uh, for introducing me to the town's vision and everything. Uh, it's just, it's incredible. And then I, I really want to thank Coca-Cola. Uh, this sign is amazing. Uh, Jack Fralin, who was uh, introduced a little earlier, uh, the artist, just, you know, stand up. I mean, really, let's give him a hand. You know, uh, Jack, your talents are amazing. Uh, the term used earlier today was ghost sign. This literally was a go sign, as for many of you who may not know, the whole building was sandblasted. So there was no sign that Jack recreated from pictures, old pictures and so forth. Uh, for those who were able to drive by and see him, he hand sketched it out, painted it. it it's just incredible. So, and I, I really don't think anything says or, or speaks Americana like Coca-Cola, wonderful buildings like this, and great towns like Rocky Mountain. So I do have a few thank yous I want to thank. Uh, I do love being involved in the local community. Um, you know, since starting Bootleggers, I've run into so many and worked with so many, but I need to, I need to make, uh, you know, acknowledge the efforts of others and so forth. So I'd like to recognize uh, Ideal Building Supply, CMC Supply, uh, for many of the materials that were used in Bootleggers. Ply Gem for these windows. Very, very impressed. Uh, I love it. Franklin Glass for the storefront on the side. Westlake Heating and Air, Davenport Energy. I mean, thank you so much. Uh, the gentleman who's not here today, uh, by the name of Ronnie Mitchell, uh, he's on vacation, lucky guy. But uh, he came to me late last year and, and basically got to know us uh, when we were starting the bed and breakfast and everything. And he, he came out and he really started introducing us to several people. Uh, Ronnie is very special to me. Um, he's, he's been wonderful. Uh, and if he's the next generation of Rocky Mount, you all are in great hands. One of the people uh, that he introduced us to was Tommy Thompson of Thompson Construction. 
And I just can't say enough about the guy. I just saw him, thank you, <laughs> for coming out. Uh, and Tommy has done an incredible job, and it's everything. Uh, he brought his bobcat inside the building with a jackhammer to jack up the floor so we could get plumbing in. Uh, he did a custom garage door over here. He did a lot of the construction inside. And I couldn't say enough about him and his team. It's just fantastic. I'd like to thank Darren Lehman of Lehman uh, Electric and Plumbing. Special thanks to Kevin Angle. The fabulous Dale Hodges. Dale Hodges painting. I know he's here somewhere. There he is. All right. Dale's got a great quote. I know I'm going to mess it up. <laughs> But there's just no end to that man's abilities or whatever. <laughs> that man's talents, which is true. And the town is so full and blessed with talent. Uh, Cheryl and Tim Tyler are in the audience. Uh, elegant Designs by Cheryl and the Tyler Company. They've helped me out with the design of the inside, construction on the inside. Uh, one of the easier pieces to see will be the benches that are now being installed and so forth. And a special, well, special thank you to them. Uh, I'd also like to thank Allison Bland of Hill Design, who has advised me on the restoration of the building, and Jason Martin of Martin's Downtown for advising me on what to do and not to do in restaurants. I, I trust, or if Jason's here, believe me, I think we're on the right track. Uh, again, thank you for coming out, for uh, sharing your stories. People have just walked in. By all means, you're welcome at Bootleggers anytime. I love to hear the stories. Uh, and I have a special thanks for Moore Stevenson, who's sitting or standing right up here. No one loves Franklin County more than Morris, and he's an absolute great person to get to know. I've enjoyed our friendship, and thank you so much. Pretty soon, we're going to open the doors to bootleggers. Uh, I've hired a very talented individual to run the show. His name is Chris, Chris Mushell, and he, along with uh, a, a good team, including Chef Chris Candies, you know, they're going to they're gonna complete the vision of bootleggers. I'm really, really excited about the product we're putting together, the menu, and they're charged with the core value that customer experience is paramount. It's something I've always believed in, and I know they're going to deliver it to. So with that, uh, I really thank you for coming out. This is an incredible, uh, mind-blowing experience, if you will. And uh, again, thank you to Rocky Mount, the Harvester, uh, Corey Hunley, who's going to play across the street, a uh, couple housekeeping items. Uh, please enjoy the food. Please enjoy the Coca-Cola. And thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going to do one more thing. We're going to have a ribbon cutting right here in the front. Okay. So we go. Pack in. We got. All right, back in here. There's a lot of packing to do here. There we go. <laughs> All right, thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right. Yeah.